right, so um, today I got a package in the mail from GotVapes.com. I'm going to be reviewing the Vortex, much anticipated um, product from GotVapes.com. Um, so basically, whenever you get the Vortex, you get the box, of course, five cartomizers, and they each come with... Um, these little rubber stoppers that are nice because you can just pull them off. Um, I'm going to go through the goods and the bad. First off, I'm going to start with the good because we all like hearing the good. But anyway, um, first off, vapor production. makes decent clouds of vapor. Um, it wicks really, really well. Um, the flavor is very, very clean on. <laughs> no dry spells, no nothing. Um, they are KR-808. Um, connectors, so you will have to get an adapter for those 510 users. Um, got the ego, got my adapter. Um, now, gonna start going with uh, starting on the bad, because we can all agree on that the good is that no dripping. You hold, you know, a decent amount of juice, carry it around with you, you know, carry three or four throughout the day, and you're set. Problem. These are not pocket friendly. I do not see these being pocket friendly because that comes off way too easy. That will just fall out of my pocket and then I will have a nicotine patch, um, which is not good. <laughs> it happened before at work and I got kind of ill. So, um, first problem. Second problem, they come shipped with this gauze like polyfill wrap right around here um, just to make sure it's been sitting here wicking for a while I'm gonna go ahead and give it a vape to see if maybe it wicked a little bit and I was just impatient because I got these like 30 minutes ago so before I make any real quick judgment calls I'm going to connect it It's working. Um, problem though, I'm seeing that it's leaking inside that inner tube. So it's a little bit gurgly. It's working though, really well. I just don't see these as pocket friendly devices. Um, not pants pocket anyway. Shirt pocket, no problem. I, I don't, you know, if you have a shirt pocket, or a jacket pocket, I'm sure that these will be fine. But I did come up with some fixes for it. Um, the CE2 cartomizers from Got Vapes come shipped with these black stoppers that I was able to put in here fairly easily. And what's also convenient is that the little tube going down the middle is small enough to fit right in there just like that. So now you've got direct airflow, everything sealed off because those stoppers, while they are awesome and I'm sure they keep juice from leaking through the middle, they fall out really easily, and I have issues with that. So, problem solved right there. That problem is solved. Well, then there's the wicking issue, and that's with the polyfill wrap. I went ahead and took the liberty of taking it off, because um, they just take it apart, and it's fairly easy to disassemble. 
there is some glue in there. So um, if you really want it to stay and not fall apart, um, I suggest putting some glue down there again or whatever you know you use. Um, so here is the revised one. I don't see this leaking anytime soon. I mean, with some slight modification, I mean, honestly, I see this being a great device. You don't have to worry about messing stuff up. The atomizer cup is right there. It's standalone, bottom coil. Um, I can see maybe a possibility of, uh, if you got this way too hot, maybe it melting the plastic. I don't know. I doubt it, but it's a possibility. But it vapes really well. I mean, tastes awesome. It's a really clean flavor. It's way cleaner than your CE2 taste. Um, it because it's really no different than direct dripping because it's an atomizer, and it's the juice is just feeding through the bottom and the wicks are sticking out exposed to the juice and it's just going in there. So, I mean, you definitely will get back to back vaping if you just, some slight modifications. Um, another nice thing, for those few who have the 510 um, KR808 style PCC, um, you know, the one like this that is, you know, the, looks like a little cigarette case, what I love about them is whenever you modify them, like I did, to uh, not leak through the mouthpiece and also for them to not fall off, they will fit perfectly right in there. So you can have a self-contained super mini or, or mini or whatever um, unit going on, which I like a lot. But for now, I'm just using my Ego battery with my adapter. So. Um, but honestly, that, I mean, there's really not more I can say about it besides the fact that it's, uh, it's convenient, it's a good, you know, I guess, solution to the CE2s, which we love or hate, I like them, um, they're a pain to fill up, honestly, I mean, really, I can't stand filling them because I hate carrying a syringe around with me in public. And sometimes you just aren't, you don't have the motivation to fill up five or six for the day. Um, but this right here is perfect. I mean, so I can just pop that, pull it out with my teeth or something like that and fill it and be good to go. Um, if you pull them off though, I would advise re-gluing them because I am noticing that they are coming loose from the, um, the base, the atomizer base. So definitely glue them back before you decide to go out after you've modified them because honestly it just does not wick fast enough for me um with these little things there so but um thank you for watching hopefully for those of you who are getting them uh whether you're experienced or inexperienced i've given some insight um thank you for watching happy vaping and uh also i'm going to give a pretty good uh, shout out to god vapes they have awesome shipping. Um, I ordered it Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Got it. I live in Oklahoma, so it's pretty far away from New York, I would imagine. Um, they also, for free, no charge, sent me a nice drip tip, which I'm sure I'll be using. Um, but again, thank you for watching and happy vaping.